Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know I'm a bit late to the party, but it needed to be done. I've seen a lot of icebergs on different artists and video games, but none about Aphex Twin. So why don't I give it a go? For those who somehow don't know, an iceberg chart is the visual representation of different facts related to a certain topic, with the surface level featuring rather basic information, and the lower you go, the more obscure or far-fetched things go. This iceberg chart is provided by user Yeshi Yeshiam. Timestamps will be provided in the description of this video. With that being said, let's jump straight into it. Level 1. Above the Water This section of the iceberg features basic info related to Mr. Richard David James. Window Liquor Window Liquor is a single released by Aphex Twin in 1999 alongside a very weird music video. The song is a personal favourite of mine, with a very infectious groovy beat, the main melody being comprised of vocal chops that sound like some very happy moans and then ending the track with a powerful, highly distorted guitar-like melody. AFX Mr. Richard David James has released music under multiple aliases, separate from AFX Twin, with AFX being the first nickname he released music under, with the analog bubble bath EP also being, arguably, his most popular besides AFX Twin. Analord the Analord series is a collection of 11 EPs released as vinyls under the aforementioned AFX alias. The series was made entirely using analog equipment. Also, the entire series is three and a half hours long. Just saying. Flim Flim is the second track featured on the Come to Daddy EP, released in 1997. The track combines fast-paced beats with soothing nostalgic synth melodies with just a touch of melancholy. Quick side note, this was the first Aphex Twin track I ever heard, it being featured in uh, a meme where a guy turns around and speaks very quickly. Stone in Focus, aka track number 19. Stone and Focus is one of the two bonus tracks featured on Select Ambient Works Volume 2, Aphex Twin's second studio album. The song is best known for the powerful, serene synth pads that gave a lot of people in the comment section of this song some profound thoughts. Level 2 The Surface Here we find bits of information that a basic Aphex Twin fan would know. Ventolin. Ventolin is a track featured on Aphex Twin's third studio album, the highly experimental I Care Because You Do. The song is notorious for having a loud, high-pitched, squeaky ringing that does not stop until the track ends. Excuse me? Aisatsana, read backwards. This is rather simple to understand. We read the name backwards and we get Anastasia which is the name of Mr. Richard's current spouse. The track itself is a calm piano melody with birds chirping in the background. The Tuss The Tuss is one of the newest aliases under which Aphex Twin has released music. The only releases from this nickname were two EPs in 2007, Confederation Trough and Rush Up Edge. Mr. Richard Hates Radiohead Radiohead is one of the most important bands in all of music history, releasing the legendary OK Computer in 1997 with themes of a future in which robots and computers will take over ordinary life. In an interview, Aphex Twin stated that he finds Radiohead very cheesy, even though he supposedly only had 5 or 6 songs from them. I say supposedly because Mr. Richard is known to have said multiple lies during interviews. Milkman Though originally a bonus track from the Richard Day James album, later put onto the Girl Boy EP, Milkman features actual singing alongside your ordinary Aphex Twin style drum and bass instrumental. The lyrics, however, aren't so ordinary. I wish the Milkman would deliver my milk in the morning. I wish the Milkman would deliver my milk when I'm yawning. Pretty normal, right? Well, the chorus goes like this. I would like some milk from the milkman's wife's tits. <laughs> Level 3 Shallow Waters 
we now enter some facts that more in-depth fans will know. The Caustic Window LP A lost album released under the Caustic Window alias, it was never originally planned to be released. The tracks were originally recorded in the 90s, however they were never officially released until a copy of this LP appeared on Discogs. After some negotiating, a Kickstarter was opened to fund the official release of this album. It raised more than $47,000. The original copy that surfaced on Discogs was auctioned on eBay, eventually getting purchased by none other than Notch himself. Mr. Richard's cat damaged the selected ambient works 85-92 cassette tape. 85-92 was Aphex Twin's first studio album. There is a rumour that surrounds the cassette tapes for this record, that the poor audio quality was caused by Mr. Richard's cat fiddling with the tapes, however a now deleted reddit account has clarified that this myth is false, and that it was caused by the overplaying of these cassettes in different cars, which led to degradation of the audio quality. The SoundCloud Dump This is an entry that does not appear on the iceberg, but I felt that the need to put it in here. The SoundCloud Dump was an event that took place during 2015, in which Aphex Twin anonymously uploaded over 230 demo tracks to the platform. If you wish to see them, this is the account to which he uploaded the songs. Kanye's Stolen Sample Another entry of mine. In 2010, Kanye West released My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. One of the songs on this album was Blame Game, featuring John Legend and Chris Rock. Kanye in this song samples Mr. Richard's Avril 14th, a gorgeous piano melody. Problem is, he didn't ask for permission. Avex Twin actually caught wind of this and actually offered his services to help clean up the sample. But Kanye's staff said that it was their work and not his. Alpha Media has a great video on this subject, link is in the description. The voice featured in To Cure a Weakling Child is Mr. Richards. To Cure a Weakling Child is a song featured on the Richard D. James album, which features a kid talking about his arms, feet and ears. That isn't actually a kid, but Mr. Richards' computer altered voice. Expert Knob Twiddlers Expert Knob Twiddlers is a collaboration between Aphex Twinner and Mike Paradinas, better known as Music. Not much else to say, just a wacky zany little album created by two IDM legends. Formula Full Title Formula, also known as Equation, is a song featured on the Window Licker single, alongside the title track and Nano. The standout features of this track is its name and something else that we shall be discussing a little deeper down the iceberg. So what's with the name? Well formula or equation are the names us fans use for convenience. Here's the actual title. <laughs> yeah, moving on. Level 4. Murky Waters. Here we start to get a little bit messier as fan theories start to pop up. Aphex Twin buys beer. This is my last entry on the iceberg, I promise. Anyway, what am I talking about here is a YouTube video in which a Richard lookalike walks around a store highly intoxicated, not even able to stand up properly, with the intention to buy some beer. What's funny is that we have no idea if this video actually features Mr. Richard or is just a coincidence. If you want to see the full video, it is in the description. Phonic Boy on Dope aka Peabod, is one of the first aliases Mr. Richard took when he was younger. The music released under the pseudonym was mainly distributed through cassettes amongst his friends. Mr. Richard doesn't hate Radiohead. We now enter our first conspiracy theory, which states that Aphex Twin's statement of not enjoying Radiohead is false. Given the fact that Mr. Richard is known to lie during interviews about certain things, I can see why people would say that he also lied about this. The I care because you do anagrams. In 1995, Aphex Twin released his third studio album, I care because you do. On this album, we find a couple songs which feature some weird names, however, they are actually anagrams for various things. 
The first track on the record, Acrid Avid Jam Shred, is an anagram for Richard David James. And the following two tracks after that, The Wax and Piff and The and Wax the Nip, are both anagrams for Aphex Twin. Flashing imagery warning. Skip to this timestamp if you are photosensitive. Collapse video dialogue. In 2018, the FX Twin released the Collapse EP, alongside a music video for the title track. In this video, we see a lot of very, very trippy visuals. During the first 20 seconds of the video, we see flashing colors and codes, whilst a slew of different lines of text move across the screen. These appear to be two people sending cryptic messages to each other with multiple grammatical errors. Secret voice in Calcud is a twin. Calcud is a twin is the second to last track of I Care Because You Do. This entry is most likely referring to the robotic voice that plays during the entirety of the track, repeatedly saying Apex Twin in an almost humorous manner. Level 5 The Deep Dark More theories and obscure facts appear on this level. Aphex Twin Airlines In 1994, Mr. Richard was commissioned by Virgin Airlines to make a song for a commercial of theirs. It was unfortunately rejected due to the uncomfortable tones and noises. Aphex Twin said that it was meant to simulate how a jet engine feels when it takes off. Yeah, the track may be a banger, but it is no way suited for commercials. Grass and Tree are meant to be played together. Grass aka track 5 and Tree aka track 10 are two very creepy songs off of Selected Ambient Works Volume 2. Both of them have an ominous feel to them. This is mainly a fan theory, however, they do sound very good together. I will link all three in songs in the description of this video, so you can see for yourself. Bit is Hangable Auto Bulb Slowed Down. Hangable Auto Bulb is a track off of the EP with the same name released under the AFX alias. The song is a fast paced glitchy drum and bass song. Nothing out of the ordinary for Mr. Richard. Bit is another song off of this EP. What's interesting is that it lasts only 12 seconds. Now this entry in the iceberg is referring to how Bit sounds like a section of hangable auto bulb but slow down and filtered. And from what I can hear it's rather obvious. Come on you slags 1990 single. We are starting to get into more mysterious territory. This took me quite a bit to uncover. Come on you slags is a song from I care because you do. Wow a lot of stuff about I care because you do. The album was released in 1995, but Mr. Richard claims that the song was made in 1990. As usual, we cannot fully believe what Mr. Richard says. Plus, the only single released to promote IK Because You Do was Ventolin, that godforsaken song with the ringing. Mr. Richard pulled Come To Daddy out of circulation so that it couldn't reach number one. The infamous Come To Daddy was actually made when Aphex Twin was drunk and playing around with the synths. Quote, Come to Daddy came about while I was just hanging around my house, getting pissed and doing this crappy death metal jingle. Then it got marketed and a video was made, and this little idea that I had, which was a joke, turned into something huge. It wasn't right at all. End quote. He then pulled the single out of circulation before it got first place on the charts. However, the song got all the way to number 16. Level 6 Bottom of the Iceberg Hidden Face in Formula Remember when I said that Formula had another standout feature? Well, if you look at the end of this song in a spectrogram, you can see Mr. Richard's face. That's it. I'm surprised it's so low down the iceberg. I thought it was more well known. Mr. Richard 1968 This entry is referring to the album cover of the Girl Boy EP. On this album cover we see a grave and some flowers. But what's interesting is that the grave has Richard James, November 23rd 1968 engraved on it. Now, Aphex Twin has stated in multiple interviews that he has inherited his name from his brother. What if this brother actually died before Aphex Twin was born? 
and the grave is actually his brother's. Hmm? Probably not. Spots, aka Track 21, Interrogation Even though it says tassels, OP has stated in a comment that it was actually meant to say Spots, aka Track 21. Anyway, this entry is referring to a police interrogation conducted on a woman who murdered her husband. The song has a thick ambient playing, accompanied by some white noise and whispers. They are unintelligible, but these are probably what they are talking about. If you know anything else about this, uh, please leave it in the comments. Richard doesn't listen to the songs he remixes. In an interview related to 26 mixes for Cash, a compilation album of various remixes from Mr. Richard, he stated that he doesn't listen to original songs he remixes and does not have any intention to do so in the future. The Ventolin EP is secretly another album. The final entry in level 6 is mainly a conspiracy theory about how the Ventolin EP, a collection of various remixes of the song Ventolin, is actually its own album. Since I couldn't find anything related to this, I wrote it off as another joke. If you have any more info, make sure to put it in the comments. Level 7 The Void Here we find the most obscure facts and weirdest theories. Usually. Because here we just have shit posts. Brian and Karen Triggerskin are real people. Brian and Karen Triggerskin are two of Mr. Richard's many aliases. These two names were actually precursors to The Tuss, under which he released two EPs. This entry suggests that Brian and Karen are real people, which, of course, aren't. Lost Off EP the ON EP was released by Aphex Twin in 1993. This entry suggests that there is a secret OFF EP lying around somewhere which there may be considering the Caustic Window incident from level 3. Is there a secret OFF EP? We may never know. COCK version 11 COCK version 10 is a song from Aphex Twin's 5th studio album drugs. It has a loud bombastic drum and bass sound, but what's interesting is that it has the version 10 in the title. Does that mean that there are 9 more versions of this song, or even a sequel under the form of Cock version 11? Maybe. Richard didn't make Syro. Syro is Aphex Twin's 6th studio album, released in 2014. The album has a different sound compared to his previous records, which this one feeling more precise and funkier at times, with not so fast beats and more synth driven songs. This has led different conspiracy theorists to believe that this album was not made by Aphex Twin because of its different sound. If this is true, that won't be actually that big of a surprise. And if it was made by Mr. Richard, that won't be a surprise either. <laughs> the Window Liquor cover isn't photoshopped. The Window Liquor album cover features the picture of a woman in a bikini, but with the Mr. Richard's grinning face superimposed of it. This entry implies that the picture isn't actually edited and that it is actually a woman with Mr. Richard's face. Is it actually true? Maybe Mr. Richard can genetically modify humans into having his face. Maybe that's how he got to the Come to Daddy album cover. It all makes sense now. Thank you so much for watching through the entire video. This took so long to finish. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that like button and maybe even subscribe. That's all for today. Take care. Goodbye everyone.